Van Oven's work, he, he is concerned with fascism quite a lot. And, you know, the way that really stood out to me this time, viewing it, you know, in terms of all the propaganda that kind of, you know, is brainwashing Quaid, um, you know, and seem to be nudging him, pushing him back to go to Mars sort of thing. And, um, you know, for the people who haven't seen it, supposedly, um, he, he, he's, he's just, you know... The average bloke, bored of his, of his wife and his lifestyle, and he's got this dream, you know, to to move to Mars. It seems like this exotic place, but you know, when you see it on the telly, it's like in the midst of a civil war, and like it's you know the fascist government are ruling it, and they they just kind of, I mean, th- there's a massive parallel as well that, that I picked up on, and it's about this almost totalitarian government that's mining Mars for its resources as opposed to, you know, what's going on in the world today, which, which is, it's, it's, it's very similar in terms of yeah. all the stuff that's going on politically and, uh, you know, there's, there's activists and groups and, and, and people really pushing back against stuff now, whether it's like fracking or, you know, um, the, 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 you know the cutting down rainforests or whatever, that, that, yeah. that parallels there even then in, you know, late 80s and into the 90s. And um, you know, that's what fashion is ultimately, isn't it? It's, it's the destruction of something. And in this, it takes the form of, you know, this dictator, you know, um, what's his name? Um, Ronnie Cox plays the bad guy, Cohagen, that's it. Yes. Um, and, and, you know, for more like the shuttles and space, spaceships that you see, it looks like it's all like mine and stuff. And it's building sort of a structure for people to house people in and, and live in and that. And, you know, the, the way that that kind of comes across is in, in the sort of the mutant slums, that's where kind of, um, you know, the rebellion comes from, the working class, what have you, and then everyone else is living the high life. But, you know, it, it's 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 good filmmaking because it's timeless uh, and you can apply it to today and, you know, it is extremely violent and, you know, it's, um, it's, it, you know, it, it, it stands long uh, in the mind and, you know, even from its first viewing, watching it 20 years later, 30 years later, you know, you'll get something, you'll notice something which you, you didn't the first time around.